what's good everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be on this look here as you can see it's a very um, bronzy kind of warm toned smoky look i created this like this look for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy it please let me know in the comments down below your thoughts feel free to like and subscribe before you leave and um without further ado let's go ahead and get started <laughs> So now that I have my foundation and brows done, as always, I'm going to go ahead and go into priming my eyes. So I'm going to be priming with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eyewear Base. Coming from my finger, I'm just going to go ahead and place this all over the eyelid. with Anastasia's Prism Palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Unity and then this one here. Just go ahead and place this all over the lid so that the eyes are not sticky with the primer. Everything is nice and mattified. But I'm just going to go ahead and go into this color right here first and just picking up a good amount on a Morphe M513 brush and then I'm just going to go ahead and start placing this in the outer part of my eye just to use this as my transition shade so just building that up here. And I'm just focusing this on the outer part of the eye and kind of working it that way so that way it will blend the other colors that we will go in with and the same for the other eye so now that I have that color down I'm going to go ahead and pick up this one right here in the center so as you can see this color right here picking that up on a Morphe R38 brush and then just working that a little bit more lower on the eyelid not completely in it but just on the lower part here so, just kind of focusing this color, focusing this color in on the outer part of the eye, just because I don't want it to go fully into my eyelid where the color will be placed. So that way, there's not that much cleanup left when I'm going to place the main color on the eye. Now that I have the color placed, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out with a Morphe M504 brush. Just blending out any rough edges, blending it forward, upward, that way. This bad boy is nice and blended. top a little bit more then you can go in with that first transition shade and the same brush and just kind of lightly feather into those areas if you couldn't really blend it out with the brush a little trick I use every once in a while when working with dark eyeshadow so just blending it out with that brush kind of feathering it outwards so that it blends everything nicely together then picking up a Luxie 227 blending brush, I'm just going to go ahead and go into now these two dark colors, like chocolate browns, 
and tapping off the excess. I'm just going to start placing this on the outer part again, where it's focused that more like burgundy shade into. I just want to kind of deepen that up with the chocolate brown. So, you can tell there it's kind of deepening that to green. Working the brown in the shade here or in this area, I'm just kind of packing that on and then moving inwards a little bit. And then now I'm going to go back in with the R38 brush by Morphe, going into the second color we used, just dipping into these two, and then placing that right in front of it just to kind of soften it out and blend it as well so it doesn't look like we just have black eyeshadow or brown eyeshadow placed there. You can have that done. Going there, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out a little bit more with my blending brush and make sure we don't have any harsh lines. So now that I have pretty much the shadows down, I'm going to go ahead and grab my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NW25. So I'm using this bad boy right here. This is the eyeshadow, or the concealer I'm going to clean my eyelid up with. And of course the Morphe M421 brush, this tiny round concealer brush here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and just dip into the concealer. And now very carefully just kind of placing that concealer where I would normally have my cut crease area open. And then just kind of pressing that down. So once I have it placed down, I'm going to go pick up a little bit more and kind of just make that cut crease look if you will. Obsessions palette. You guys know I love this thing. It's it's amazing. It's bomb.com. It has the best smoky eye colors, even neutrals. Like as you can tell, I dip into these neutral colors all the time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into this dark chocolate, like almost like a green brown color. It's so beautiful. I've been wearing it for the last couple days and it's just amazing. So just taking some on my finger like so. Placing this on the lower part of my eye where that concealer is and just working it back this way towards the darker shadow and just placing it there and upwards. I'm really just going to place it down wherever my finger allows me to because I do have long nails. It is a little rougher um, to get this shadow perfectly placed. So what I'm going to do in a second is go back in with the brush and place it where I missed spots um, that still have concealer showing. So dipping again, just one little swatch in there and then going on the other eye. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe R2 R42 brush. Looks like this, it's like a good, a very nice packing brush there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go into that shadow, just dipping it there and placing the shadow where I couldn't reach it with my finger. So, really like on this crease area. I 
I have been wearing this look with no liner, so if you feel good with how the eye look looks, then feel free to skip this next step and just put on lashes, call it a day. I'm gonna go ahead and do liner because I haven't done liner in forever, and I feel like I wanna do liner today. So first, just going ahead and curling my lashes before I do my liner. Now going into my Desi XKD um, Fuego highlighter that I'm like scraping the edges off of. I'm just going to go ahead and place that color in the center or towards my tear duct there just to give it that highlight. And then placing this on the brow bone as well because I want a nice golden look. Now going into a Morphe G11 brush, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up in my Maybelline Eye Studio uh, in Blackest Black, and I'm just going to go ahead and start doing my wing liner. This is nothing special. If you guys want a wing liner tutorial, I would be more than happy to film it for you. But I'm just going to go ahead and do my thing. So just going ahead and placing my concealer here and then bringing it down and backwards. I'm going to go ahead and place that um, in the shade medium. Then going in with my Tarte Shape Tape, I'm just going to place two dots here, two dots here, and kind of bring these down this way, bring it down this way. I love making these two concealers, they work so well, so I'm going to use those there. And then I'm going to use the same Maybelline Adri Wine in Neutral. Yeah, in Neutral. I'm going to go ahead and place this as my highlight. So just placing it there, here, down the bridge of my nose, up here. Ooh, I went a little too high there. But you get the point. Do the little flower thing. It always reminds me of a flower. I'm going to go ahead and use my setting spray, which is the Glam Glow Glow, Slet Glow Setter setting spray. And I'm going to spritz my um, my beauty blender or a cosmetic sponge. And now I'm just going to start pressing this into the skin and working it in completely. So I love this trick. I felt like it made my concealer go on a lot smoother. It looks good. It stays on longer. And then spraying again because I feel like once you finish the face portion of your under eyes and chin, nose, everywhere, I feel like the sponge isn't as wet. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray that again and then blend out the top here. And now I'm going to go into my MAC. Um, next to nothing powder in light plus and with the same beauty blender I'm just going to go ahead and pick up some product as you can tell it picked up quite a lot to have on my hand so that the excess is not there another trick I learned from Jack on Hill and just place this under the eyes instead of picking up a brush and kind of swiping it there I'm just placing the powder with my beauty blender and I have felt this has worked so nicely like oh my god I'm obsessed it makes my face look so smooth and just beautiful. And then going in with medium plus, same next to nothing powder. I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with this. And just really brushing this down my neck. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go into highlighters. You guys already know I'm gonna use my Desi X KD Meet on My Highlighter. I should really stop using this because this one's almost hitting pan and I'm very scared because this is my last one. So I'm just going and hitting the cheekbones there. Oh, see that? Like I didn't put up, apply nothing on this fan brush and gorgeous. So this is really gonna give you like that nice wet glowy skin which I'm looking for so I'm placing this all over the cheekbones there and doing it on the other side as well my whole face if you will <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and go into bronzer and for bronzer you already know I can't even read this um, what does it say blunt uh, <laughs> this bronzer in blunt so this is by Mac I'm gonna go ahead and use this bad boy this thing literally has lasted forever I'm using a morphe m527 I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin so just starting over here on the apples and working my way upward um, for this kind of look, you definitely want to be bronzed. I feel like because it's a more bronzy look, I want to be bronzed. Just going ahead and bronze the other side. my forehead you cannot skip the forehead okay I promise you I don't have a big forehead to contour but I just feel like it makes all the difference when I do bronze my forehead like it just look, looks so much more balanced and even and doesn't look like I just have highlight and contour in the middle of my face and nothing else anywhere else so very key and then to blend my highlight with my bronzer I'm gonna go ahead and go into this one as well I've been using forever Glow With It by MAC. It's an extra dimension skin finish and this is what it looks like. Very beautiful color. I love using this to mesh my bronzer with my concealer. So just doing so like this. And then on the other side as well. So there's that. And it just really blends my bronzer, concealer, or my bronzer and my highlight together very nicely, which is what I love. Then going into um, trans or setting or carving out my face, I should say, I'm going to be using the uh, Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. So I'm using this bad boy here. And this is just in the shade Translucent. Um, I've been using this powder for a while now. Pretty good, pretty decent, I would say. It gets the job done. So I'm gonna go ahead and going to place this right under where my ear lobe is and moving forward. I already know the deal, I'm about to look crazy, but you gotta be set, okay? You hop in. So, just bring that forward. Bake that at 340 degrees for 15 minutes and you'll be good. Okay, so going into mascara now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to use the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Um, this is in black. I believe that's the blackest black one, which is the collab with Shayla, but I'm just using the regular one because this bad boy does the job too. So now that I have mascara on, I'm going to go ahead and finally set the brows using Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. Gotta set your brows, girl. Can't have your brows flying away on a day or anything you now. So just setting these bad boys here. Now 
Now for lashes, I'm going to go in with my favorite style at the moment. These are baby G lashes, so you can kind of see they're very wispy, very dramatic. They're not as dramatic as the ones I usually use, which are demi G, but they are almost there. Like I will show you guys closer up. This is what the lash looks like, kind of the band there. Um, very pretty lash, I love it. Again, like I said earlier, you could skip this whole um, liner, wing liner process and have popped on some lashes and it would look just as fine um, or just as good, but I just felt like being extra today. Wanted to have some nice, nice fall season or a nice look going for today. So I'm going ahead and popping these bad boys on. So now that I have my lashes on, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe away this package now. And it just makes everything look so much better. So you have your contour nicely shaped. I'm going to go ahead and put on some blush and I'm using a BH cosmetic brush and I don't know what number, but it's like a angled blush brush and I'm using the butter blush in natural glow it's this very pretty um, like rosy color if you will so very pretty color love this blush um, use it for almost literally every day I'm just gonna take a little bit tap off the excess smile and place this blush up on my cheekbones and upwards so you can see it just all meshes together really well Side. Can't forget about blush. Blush is, I feel like, just makes a look. So. Okay, so now that um, I have my blush on, everything's good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes by doing the lower lash line. So going in with the Mac Shoal Smolder Eye Coal. I'm just gonna go ahead and place this eyeliner in my waterline. go ahead and go in now with the Sassy Sienna's palette. This is the palette here by Joseph Color. Very pretty. I've loved this palette since it came out. Um, I got it recently and I've been obsessed. So I'm going to go ahead and use these two shades right here. This is Foxy and Brassy. And I'm going to mix those two and smudge these in the lower lash line. And I love these colors so much. So I'm just going to go ahead and smudge it where the eyeliner is and kind of bring it in forward smudging and bringing it forward. So 
so now that that's blended, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Maybelline Big Shot Mascara, and I'm just gonna coat my bottom lashes. So now that we have the eyes done, it is time to move on to the final step, which is lips. Um, first things first, chapstick. I say this every time. Chapstick, chapstick, chapstick. You do not want to have crusty lips. Telling you folks, chapstick. So my favorite combo at the moment, um, this is what I'm gonna do for the lips. It's a very brown nude lip, but I love it. Um, so first I'm gonna go ahead and align my lips with MAC Strip Down. Very popular color. I'm sure you guys have all heard of it. So now to finish off the look, so I love this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the color Daddy. This is the collab with Manny MUA. Any other brown like taupey shade is going to work good for this as well. Any nude you may have, you can replace it for that one. I just love the way this looks, especially with the lip gloss I'm going to pair it with. It just meshes so well together and I feel like it just completes the look. So don't feel this is a limited edition matte liquid lipstick and I'm sorry because I always talk about limited edition stuff. but. It's really good um, but any other brown or nude you have will work perfectly fine so I'm just gonna go ahead now and place this color on the lips So now that I have the liquid lipstick on, I'm not going to let it dry completely. Um, I'm going to go right into the gloss so that way it picks up the color really nicely. And I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This, this gloss is beautiful. So now I'm just going into the center here. So you just placing it down there and up and over. And then here, then finished product is very beautiful nude. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. So I'll just pull my hair back and then setting with the Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray. I'm just going to go ahead and spritz. I know that's probably excessive, but it works. So. because it's so hot and that would be your completed look so i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know down below your thoughts if you liked it if you recreated it i would love to know um any future looks that you guys would like me to do i am going to be doing another valentine's day date night look if you will um in within this next week so keep a look out for that um but aside from that thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate your guys continued support and i will see you guys on the next one